Okay, hi, this is Chris Theron again with part three of Voila Proofs with iteratively inscribed similar triangles. Okay, last time we proved the Euler segment and the centroid theorem with iteratively inscribed similar triangles. Now we're going to go on to bigger and better things. If you remember, last time we proved the centroid theorem and the Euler segment theorem basically by inscribing triangles. Now what type of triangles did we inscribe? If you look at this picture, you'll see that we inscribed triangles the, oriented at an angle of 180 degrees to the original triangle. Each time we inscribed a triangle, the triangle was flipped by 180 degrees. That's shown in this summary picture. So as I said, we've rotated similar triangles 180 degrees. This suggests a generalization. What if we inscribe triangles at another angle? What happens when we successively inscribe triangles at an angle theta, where theta could be any angle? not just 180 degrees. Now if you think about it, depending on theta there are three cases. The inscribed triangle could be an angle clockwise from the original triangle, the, or the inscribed triangle could be at an angle counterclockwise from the original triangle, or the inscribed triangle could be inverted from the original triangle. Okay, I'm going to focus on clockwise in this case. The other two are uh, interesting. Counterclockwise is basically the same. Uh, inverted is is an uh, interesting case, but it's somewhat different. Now, I drew these figures with uh, software that I recommend. Uh, it's available freely on the web. It's Java-based. Uh, the advantage over Geometer Sketchpad is that it is free, and uh, don't and uh, just anybody can use it. So your students can take it home. Okay, so let's start with the clockwise. We're going to inscribe triangles clockwise. So here we have uh, triangle ABC, and I'm going to inscribe uh, clockwise triangles. So let me inscribe two and start there. Now, each inscribed triangle is at the same angle to the previous triangle. Notice that I've rotated each the same angle successively. So stop and take a look at this picture. Do you see any similar triangles? Well, of course, you see some similar triangles because I inscribed three similar triangles. But do you see any other similar triangles? Well, if you think about it, this triangle and this triangle must be similar. Uh, because actually the, the lighter blue triangle is simply a scaled down version of the darker blue. All right, think about it if you don't get it, but I'm sure you'll get it eventually. All right, we can do the same thing over here. The light green is a scaled down version of the dark green and the light red is a scaled down version of the dark red. So we have some similar triangles. We have pairs of similar triangles. Now are there any other similar triangles? Okay, there, there are in fact, and the key to noticing where they are is notice that this angle and this angle and this angle are the same. That's angle, actually the angle of orientation between the inner similar triangle and the outer similar triangles, the angle of rotation. So those three angles are the same. Now those three, tri those three angles can be thought of as exterior angles of a triangle. And uh, so let me get to the punchline and show you the three similar triangles. This triangle and this triangle and this triangle are all similar. And uh, the way you can get that is uh, corresponding uh, ratios of sides, and they have one uh, common exterior angle. Of course, that exterior angle is 180 degrees minus the obtuse angle in the triangles, which gives us basically SAS similarity. So we have these three triangles SAS similar. Now, we've got a good thing going, and we're using iterative methods, so let's go ahead and iterate, inscribe more triangles. Now, if we inscribe more triangles, we can get more similar purple triangles in a similar way. Again, by uh, common angles and uh, similar side ratios. Now, we can continue this. We're actually going to get uh, fan-shaped regions that are similar. The three purple fans are similar. Uh, all dimensions are in the same ratio. 
Now we could keep on going, just keep on iterating these uh, inscribed triangles. Eventually what we're going to get is that the triangles will shrink down to a point. Uh, let's draw these uh, three uh, purple lines, which would be three purple edges of our fans. And they'll meet at a single point. Now the three purple fan shapes are similar. What does that imply about this point? Well, if the three purple fans are similar, then corresponding angles are the same. That means that this vertex angle here must be equal to this vertex angle here, must be equal to this vertex angle here. So what we have is that this point is the same, well, I could say counterclockwise angle from each edge. See, this angle here is the same as this angle here is the same as this angle, this angle here. So the three counterclockwise angles are the same when I'm measuring to this point. Now I'll make the point on the next slide, but there, here's a good place because the picture here is good. Uh, could there possibly be, within the triangle, could there possibly be another point that also has the same property? Could there possibly be another point such that the three counterclockwise angles are going to be the same? And the answer is no. If you look at these three purple lines, they divide the plane into three regions. Now look at the upper left region. If I had to choose a point in here, then the angle to this vertex is smaller, and the angle to this vertex is bigger. There's no way that the two angles, that this angle and this angle can be equal anymore. So, and you can do a similar argument for points over here and points down here. The upshot is that this yellow point here is the unique point that has equal counterclockwise angles from each of the three vertices. Unique point. It's actually called a Brocard point. Notice I said a Brocard point. There is another Brocard point. And you can think about how the other Brocard point might be defined. The hint is that we've been inscribing in a clockwise direction. What happens if you inscribe counterclockwise? So that's a pretty definite. So there we have it. The odd shot is that the inscribed triangles converge to a single point, which I call P. P is that purple point in the middle. And it has the property that the three angles, um, the three uh, Counterclockwise angles from the vertices are equal. Furthermore, that's a unique point that has that property. All right. So let's think about this. What does this imply? What does this imply about inscribing similar triangles within a triangle? Again, we're con we're con constricting ourselves to the uh, to the clockwise direction. Well, one thing you can notice is that uh, this conclusion did not depend on the angle of rotation between the original triangle and the inscribed triangle. There is nowhere in my argument that these three angles are the same. I never used at any time any fact about this about this angle of rotation between inscribed triangles. I never used any facts about this angle. So what that means is that this fact that the inscribed triangles converge to this point does not depend on the angle between the triangle and the inscribed triangle. It doesn't depend at all. No matter how you inscribe triangles inside a triangle, if you successively inscribe triangles, it doesn't matter. You can do it higgledy-piggledy at any rotation angle whatsoever. And you'll still end up at this point P. You can't get away from it. The inscribed triangles will always converge to the broken point. All right, so here's the summary. The equal angle point P is unique uh, because <clears throat> if you try to move it in either one of, in any of the three directions, uh, you're going to mess up uh, the angles so they can no longer be equal. This point P is called a Brocard point, and any sequence 
of clockwise inscribed triangles will converge to the same broker point as long to the, as the triangles shrink to zero in size. The similar, similarity argument still holds. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the talk.